making my top five Disney treats. So now we're going to be doing these Minnie and Mickey chocolate dip pretzels. So this one is really easy. What you're going to need is some pretzels. These are just the regular twist kind. And then some milk chocolate melts or dark chocolate works too. These are red candy melts and pink candy melts and they're just vanilla flavored. And then this is just some sprinkles. I got this in the holiday section. I'm gonna be using the little white beads. So first we're gonna wanna melt down your chocolate candy melts. And I'm just putting it in the microwave at 30 seconds at a time. So after every 30 seconds, just take it out and mix it. And depending on how strong your microwave is, you might have to do 10 seconds at a time but this is working for me. So we're gonna do another 30 seconds after this. So first we're gonna dip it in the chocolate and just put it on the wire rack. The whole thing we want covered in chocolate. And you don't have to have a wire rack for this. You can just put it directly on the parchment paper or wax paper, either one works fine. So now we're gonna melt our candy melts in the exact same way as we melted our chocolate. So now I have my pink melted and just dip the bottom half of the pretzel. I'm gonna shake it off, shake it off a little bit. I'm gonna put it back on here. And now I'm gonna add these little white beads all over to give it a little bit of flair. Minnie Mouse style. And then to make a little bow on these, and you can do these in either pink or red. Both look great. So to make a little bow, I'm just taking a toothpick and kind of spreading out in the shape of a hourglass. And then to top it off, we're just gonna put a little bead right in the middle of the bow. So I've dipped the pretzels in the red and it goes up just halfway. And now to make a Mickey Mouse one, I'm just gonna be very careful and place two white beads where his little white buttons would be. Boop, just like that. Didn't they turn out so cute? So next we're going to be making these Mickey Mouse cupcakes. What you're gonna need is some cupcakes, and these are just chocolate, some chocolate frosting, I have some chocolate sprinkles, these are little candy pearls, toothpicks, and mini Oreos. So first I'm gonna frost the cupcake, and I just wanna make sure that I'm getting it all the way down to the edges. And now I've poured all of the chocolate sprinkles into a bowl, and I'm gonna tip it upside down and just tap it Get it covered in sprinkles. And you do have to do this while it's still sticky. Ta da! And I'm just gonna take one toothpick and break it in half. And I wanna poke it into the middle of the Oreo and kind of squish it back together. You don't have to use mint, you can use whatever kind of Oreo you can find. And I'm just gonna poke it right into the cupcake and do the same on the other side, just like that. Now I'm going to take my little pearl beads and put a tiny bit of frosting on them. I do want to make it even, so I'm just going to push the bead right into the cupcake liner. And do the same on the other side and let it dry. Ta-da! Isn't that beautiful? So you can use the big Oreos or the small Oreos. And here are some Mickey and Minnie dipped Oreos. So what you're gonna need for this one is some big Oreos and some small Oreos. And then I have some red candy melts and some pink candy melts, little white candy beads, toothpicks, and wax paper. Also smaller white beads. So we take the mini Oreo and split it in half and I'm just gonna dip it in a little bit of red candy melts, just like that. And break open your Oreo, your big Oreo a little bit. And just put that in there. And the candy melt is just gonna help it stay in place a little bit better. So we're not putting very much of it on there. And just kind of slip it in and then squeeze it together. And if you want, you can use just milk chocolate on this part so it will blend a little bit better. But we're just gonna use the candy melts. And now I'm gonna take and dip it halfway into the candy melt and shake off the excess. And now I'm gonna take two little white beads and put them right in the middle. And that's it. So for Minnie, we've done the exact same thing. And now I'm just gonna take a whole bunch of the little pearls and place them all over the pink. Now I'm gonna take the pink and now I'm just gonna put four dots right in the middle to make the bow. And now we're just gonna place our big bead right in the middle. 
It's so cute! And some chocolate Mickey Pops. So what you're going to need is some melted chocolate, a baggie and a pair of scissors, some popsicle sticks, you're going to need wax paper, and a Mickey Mouse template. So first we're going to fill this bag with chocolate. I'm just pouring in the chocolate. Now I'm just going to cut a hole in the corner here. I have this template all set up and I actually want to put a little bit of chocolate underneath the popsicle stick, kind of gluing it into place. And now I'm just going to put chocolate over the whole top. And I want to be really extremely careful around the edges. Now I'm just going to continue going along the line. Now I'm just kind of smoothing it out with the tip of the bag. Not really putting, not really trying to put more chocolate on, but just kind of trying to smooth it out. Making it all swirly and beautiful. So now to make more, all I have to do is hold down the wax paper and move the template over to the side. Put another popsicle stick down and repeat the whole process. Oh my goodness, it turned out so cute. Look at that. I love it so much. This one might be my favorite so far. It's simple, but beautiful. And now we're going to make some Rice Krispie Treats. You're gonna need 40 marshmallows, three tablespoons of butter, six cups of Rice Krispies, some different kinds of candy melts, and also some round cookie cutters. So we're putting the butter and the marshmallows together and we're gonna heat it up on the stove until it's melted and just gradually stir. Almost there! Eep, there we go. Now just mix it together. Spider webs. Putting them into the cookie cutters and we'll squish them in tight to make sure we have a really good form on them. So I'm still just molding them into the different shapes that I need. And I have to do it quick because right now already it's starting to just stick a lot. So I've just packed it in there really tight and it holds its shape immediately and I can just push it through and it's done easy as pie. So this is the cookie cutter that I'm gonna be using. So we're just gonna make a very small cut on these ears with the same cookie cutter that is around it on both ears and just like that. So I'm just putting some glue on to attach the ears. This is candy melts again. And now I'm pretty much just frosting it like a cake. You can do this with melted chocolate. It doesn't have to be the candy melts but this is gonna be really fun. So remember, this is an alternative to a cookie cutter, so if you don't have a cookie cutter, this is perfect. At least if you don't have a Mickey Mouse cookie cutter, this is a perfect way to substitute. And look at how these turned out, I love them so much. So I hope you guys love this video. These are some of my very favorite ideas that I saw on Pinterest for Disney treats. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Get a picture of that little fight mark. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cute, but you are in trouble. <laughs> that was the best one, too. Oh well, save the best for the baby, I guess. Is that good?